Yeah. What's good y'all? Back at it again with another reaction. If you're new to the channel, my name is Shadiq, also known as Alchemist, and you are now locked into Crossover Media. Now this one is probably going to be a Sunday series video. That means I'm not going to edit with all the usual like annotations and stuff on the side here. But seeing that Lead to the VI's reaction was over 20 minutes, I don't think I'm going to need all that. I think the reaction is probably going to speak for itself, especially with it being Getz. For those of you who are asking, I do plan on doing a live album reaction to his album on March 6th. So look out for the information on that. Stay locked into my community tab, all of my socials and all that. The watermark is at the bottom of these videos. That's my socials on Instagram and Twitter right now. That's the reason why I haven't changed it. Don't worry, there's gonna be a lot of changes. As y'all could probably see, the camera quality has changed. I'm working, man, but I also work a nine to five and I'm going to grad school. So just look out for the album reaction. But listen, man, it's Getz and he's been bugging out lately. So I don't wanna hold y'all too much longer. Let's get it. Perfect. Ah, uh, yeah, it's going to that all important time of the show once again. My favorite part of the show fire in the booth. But as you can see, this. Yo, what's good with everybody in Dubai? Like, this past like, year or two, everybody's been in Dubai, yo. Settings today, they're a little bit different. We're in a desert. Do they have like, the cure to the Rona or something? Like, everybody feels so safe going to Dubai? This just dropped, and the album is a movie. So I call my guy Gets, I said, boy, what are we going to do? We got to match the movie with another movie. Do they really go into a desert to do this? For decades to come. We call this one Fire in the Desert. Now Gets, he's about to pull up and he's about to deliver a moment of greatness. Yeah. Deeper, right? That mic is not plugged into Jack Squat. <laughs> they just got it in the sand to make it look like the wire is plugged into sign, but don't be fooled. <laughs> See this one, I'm just I'm all over the place with what I'm focusing on because the beat has elements of like drill to it in terms of like some of the bass lines I guess, but it also has elements of grime just a little bit. I've been saying that about Getz lately. His sound right now, it's very unique. It's one of a kind. He could do whatever he wants. He doesn't have to adhere to any one particular sound. So yeah, let me try to catch all this. I know he's wicked with the wordplay. Forgive me, I'm probably gonna miss a lot. Is what it is. He said all my bikes are Yamaha. Did he say all my bikes Yamaha? That's what he said. Wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't know if I'm hearing this correctly, but it sounds like he said, How can a yard man hold a Chinese? If he's talking about how they call knives or how they refer to like knifing as ying and ching and all that, and he's referring to like the knife, he said, How can a yard man hold a knife? If that's what he's saying, that's kind of cold. And are you clocking the flow the way he said that? What? Eat food from Nigeria. Vote your love using the word culture, but don't know my career. Babe, I just want to be friends. Don't cry over my criteria. I just told Tim put his beat in logic and link that fam. No metaphors or double entendres, but, but the truth just bangs. And you know it's a thing that's so misleading? Because it's about to be bare metaphors and double entendres in this whole thing. I already know. 
So get your false advertising. <laughs> oh, he's talking about 10 billion dreams? Wait. He said something I just told 10, is that what he said? Since the day you heard him, it's been nothing but Mercury. So I don't know if if it's like a play on something with like the element Mercury or the planet, but I'm hearing it as Merc, like since you heard of him, he's just been Mercing it. Now, there's another meaning to that. Hold on, I have to look something up real quick. Let me look something up real quick. Hold on, I have to look this up. Okay, nah, I just had to double check. I was like, let me see if like the periodic symbol for Mercury was the letter U, but it's not. So I just had to make sure because you can never let stuff like that slide with gets. You always gotta be on your toes, you know what I mean? From the day you heard of me, it's been the umbuck Mercury. I understand why Lee's video is over 20 minutes. He probably willed it by now. He probably willed it at least three times before he even hit this part. From the day you heard of me, it's been the umbuck Mercury. Then he said planet right after this. I, I didn't plan it the way another human has. Mike man shut up, life spans forever. Straight from the big image, diamond back error. Kill an MC with presence alone. Every Christmas I can rap better. And you had the nerve to say no metaphors or double entendres? Killing MC with presence alone. His presence, not even his rhymes, will kill him. Merry Christmas. I rap better. Presence, gifts, Christmas, rap, rap, gifts, rap, presents. I, I didn't plan it the way another human has. Mike man, shut up. Life span forever. Straight from the big image, diamond back error. Killing MC with presence alone. Merry Christmas. I can rap better. Sarsaparilla, apple capella. I got the juice right now whenever. The boys blessed in ways you can't measure. The rulers back. He said, in ways you can't measure, the ruler is back. I'm, I already knew I was going to be stressed out. I like came into this in my head saying, you're about to get mad stressed out. I already knew. I already knew what time it was. I don't even know why I'm surprised. I, I didn't plan it the way another human has. Mike man, shut up. Life span forever. Straight from the big image, diamond back error. Kill an MC with presence alone. Merry Christmas, I can rap better. Sarsaparilla, apple capella. I got the juice right now. And then when he does that, like, when Get switches it up, he's not just switching his flow. He's switching his flow, his cadence, the content of what he's saying. It's just like, and it happens so seamlessly. Like, you don't even get a chance to blink. You know, sometimes artists take a quick pause, then they switch the flow. Nah, he just switches it. No warning, no notice. He may even lie to you and tell you it's not going to happen, and it happens. <laughs> Boys, blessed in ways you can't measure. The rulers back don't ever. They ain't used to this shit. It's way too futuristic. The law of the Yaku persisted. The Mandalorian's moving mystic. I slammed the door to review the witness. Crime rate. And on top of that, I know that that was not easy to deliver. And it's not for the average person. He said, Mandalorian, moving mystic. Something said, I slammed the door. Whatever it was he said. Like, that sequence, I know that had to be... A madness to execute. At least if you're not a veteran, so I don't know. But the Mandalorian's moving mystic. I slammed the door to review the witness. Crime rate, new statistics. Knife game, too ballistic. Open a boy's chest like me and in a sauna with you can live. This is not okay. Witness, crime rate, new statistics, knife game, too ballistic. Open a boy 
Open man's chest, like being in a sauna with eucalyptus. You ever had a stuffy nose? Congestion, all that? Man said a sauna with eucalyptus. Open your chest. Son of a gun, don't be my trigger. And you know what's crazy? I was just about to say it, but I didn't want to pause again. And my mom was like, what in the hell possessed this man? That he just came back out of the blue with his mad about bars, just swinging. And there he goes. He doesn't stop living, so he doesn't run out of things to talk about. It, just as I was thinking it too. <laughs> I don't care what time of the day it is, as long as my sun set. Morning, well, nighttime, sunset, but he says as long as his sun is set for life. This my Dubai, my e now I could be reaching, but Dubai desert, desert eagle. I could be wrong, I could be reaching, but that's just like the immediate thing that registered in my mind. Let me just run this back just a little bit because he said a lot. They said never obo success, meaning I think obo means like when you're on surveillance. So I think he said like don't pre success, or like don't pre somebody else's success. Then that's what he's saying. Oh, he said this is my Dubai desert eagle. I didn't even hear the desert part. Yeah, there you go. I was right. I thought he said this is my Dubai, this is my eagle flow. Old school ghetto, meaning his name before he changed his name to Gets. He said front teeth. I think he's talking about teeth, bullets, you know what I mean? I'm doing all this, so I don't have to edit this on the screen, but yeah, wow. Keep on know, this my Dubai, there's an eagle flow. Old school, get off from teeth, full goal, got the first one right, so the sequel so. Long time when I said investing gets, but the man never cool with a legal door. And now times have changed, and I'm out of sight, I'm cheating off you. What, you never saw that coming? There's money behind the door, man, running. 15 And the thing about gets is that the way that he changes his cadences, and the way that the beats match the change in his cadence. Mind you, this beat, I'm not super crazy about this beat. Like, in the beginning, it had some elements that I would have said, all right, it caught my eye. But he really was in line when he told the man, just loop it. Because this one is really not that crazy, you know? It's not that it's bad, but I think it helps throw in a way because it helps you focus on what he's saying. So... I guess I can appreciate it for that. Get off from T full goal, got the first one right, so the sequel so long time when I said invest in gets <coughs> but the man never cool with a legal door. And now times have changed and I'm out of sight, I'm cheating off you. What you never saw that coming? There's money behind in the door, man running. 15 k one first, that's nothing. If, if I keep it a hundred. I'm probably reaching again, but he said, now I'm out of sight, then he said you never saw that coming. If that isn't on purpose, that was just a really good way to place both of those bars. Money behind in the door, man running. Me, you ain't welcome in this doormat. Man, I got 
still shoot because I'm stand by. I saved your life and I told them ignore that. It's so many things that it's like. I don't know if to take it as a metaphor or not because the way that he's been spitting is like it could be but it couldn't be. He said something about don't address me. You're not welcome in his doormat something like that but you know you put a doormat at where you reside your address. So I don't know. I don't know. I could be reaching with a lot of these things but if not the way that he places some of these bars are really masterful because even when he isn't trying it sounds like he is. Calling the other calls to seem like unknown numbers. Mm. Please do not address me. You ain't welcome in this doormat. Man, I got to shoot because I'm standing by. I saved your life and I told him ignore that. House, car, and phone insurance where your life's at risk and you haven't insured that. Hmm. 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 You see, you got all this other insurance but life insurance and it's at risk. House, car, and phone insurance where your life's at risk and you haven't insured that. I double up, I take out two and bring four back. Them where came in the game all nervous. Weren't sure about their verses. When I was first heard in the airwaves, nothing but turbulence. I told my practice. When I was first heard in the airwaves, nothing but turbulence. Back in the grind days when they didn't have YouTube like how they have now, and all they had was pirate radio, and you're hearing them over the airwaves, he caused nothing but a disruption in the scene. When I was first heard in the airwaves, nothing but turbulence. I told my practice what you preach, because I live my sermons. And you know, I had a feeling this would happen. I was like, they're probably gonna switch the beat up. I add something very minor at some point randomly in the beat. So it may or may not switch, or it may just stick with like that really heavy bass line and go right back to the loop before. But we'll see what I'll go on. And listen to this, right? I don't know if my ears are deceiving me, but when like that bass line starts kicking in, that's the one new thing. But then after whatever is the bar, however many bars it is, it feels like the beat changes just a little bit. But I guess I may not be noticing it perfectly because like the bass line stayed, so it's like a gradual transition. I could be wrong. Again, I could be wrong about a lot of things that I'm saying right now, but that's the way that it's sounding. Let me play it back a little bit. When I was first heard in the airwaves, nothing but turbulence. I told my practice what you preach, cause I live my sermons. Boy, don't talk about that, you ain't done it up in that person. See, yeah, the melody changes just a little bit, damn. Be check, your documents on the PDF. You're not a man that we respect, I'm really outside, man, 3D gets. See me there, man, see me there, I can't argue my line with the knee keeper. I'm out GB scared, you wish like see you by the GB spit. Uh, real quick, I need to hear something real quick. I need to hear if like the last couple bars of the beat was different from like right before it, just to make sure I'm 100 percent correct. I double up, I take out two and bring four back. Then we came in the game more nervous. Weren't sure about their verses. When when your life's at risk and you have it. Okay, nah, so it was the same kind of bass. Okay. It was the same kind of bass. I just want to make sure it was the same kind of bass. Facts. Jeez! Wait, did I say Jesus at the same time? And I I like and kind of dislike the fact that the beat changed, but it still sounds very similar to the other beat. Like it has that similar bass line to it, it's some kind of bounce to the bass line. So we'll see how it progresses. When I was 16, I had big dreams. Mom said, Don't follow no crowd if I'm calling someone a ring lead. Man, I'm talking, I put up and crash, and no one's gone for the wins. When I was 16, I had big dreams. Mom said, Don't follow no crowd if I'm calling someone a ring lead. Man, I'm talking, I put up and crash, and no one's gone for the windscreen. How sweet, I'm intrigued. If I pull up and crash, I'm wily, I'm making a big scene. Outside, but we was in deep. Where I'm from, we've got our own big niche. School north, but I live the east. Summertime, white vest like Vin D's. We gotta take this back, cause he's talking about a lot. Yeah. Hey, guess I didn't know you should have gone like He's saying a lot. Find the desert for real. What? Jeez. I don't think they're ready for this. We ain't done yet. I'm not. When I was 16, I had big dreams. Mom 
said don't follow no crowd if I'm calling someone a ringlead. Man, I told He said don't follow anyone if I'm what? And big dreams. Mom said don't follow no crowd if I'm calling someone a ringlead. It's so he said mom said don't follow no one. If I'm calling someone I'm a ringlead. I'm 16, I had big dreams. Mom said don't follow no crowd if I'm calling someone a ringlead. So I don't know if lead is a person or something, but I know ring means to call somebody, but he's also saying he's not a follower, he's the ringleader. I don't know if I missed something in there, but Man, I'm talking up up and crashing, no one's gone for the windscreen. How sweet, I'm intrigued. If I pull up and crash on Wiley, I'm making a big scene. Outside, but we was in deep where I'm from, we've got our own big niche. School north, but I lived east summertime. And he's like, he's talking that very subtle grease. I've been saying that every single reaction since he's mad about bars. Like the way that he delivers his rudeness, it's just, it's on another level. He said, score north, but I lived east. It ain't my place to talk about hood politics, so I don't really care to get into anything, especially stuff that I don't even really understand and know the full context of. But I believe he's referring to the fact that he's from East London, right? And then there's North London. I could be wrong. I've heard like little things about like, there's some turbulence between those two areas in the past. I'm not familiar with it, so I'm gonna get back to the song. And my best like Vin D's. You gotta be thick skin when you ain't a person who fits in the in crowd. I ever who was in deep where I'm from with a wrong big niche. School north, but I lived east summertime. White vest like Vin D's. You gotta be thick skin when you ain't a person who fits in the in crowd. Wanna make you the victim. You gotta have thick skin when you're not the person that fits it. Like, where does he find these flows? I'm from a big niche. School north, but I lived east summertime. White vest like Vin D's. You gotta be thick skin when you ain't a person who fits. This is the part where he starts talking about like real life and everything so i wouldn't be surprised if he like references his real name justin and everything at some point i don't know but all my days i just realized some people are playing a role and other people have got a role to play you probably think what's the difference it's all roles both are fake <laughs> all right okay mate well hi my name's get some of our i watch extreme sports and i roll skate some are 217 i crash lambs his bike and fucked up my knees and my shoulder blade my dad said i'm a madman quad no helmet 115 and i'm all away what me selfish never but all i do is over to i could all put that in my bio spent most of my teenage years in wire went school with the owner lewis and io i deal with that like a lannister i cannot think of a man that i owe and if i'm talking payback that's payback because of I know that I missed a lot. Anything that I missed, let me know in the comment section down below. Like I said, I'm not editing this one as much. So yeah, just anything I don't reference or say out loud, just, just comment it. 15 and I'm all the way. What? Me, selfish never, but all I do is over to I could all put that in my bio. Spent most of my teenage years in Wyo. Went school with the Yona, Lewis and Io. I deal with that like a Lannister. I cannot think of a man that I owe. And if I talk in payback, that's payback because of Io. I'm back in the place, chiropractor. Jill, rap, I'm back in the place, chiropractor. This man had the nerve to say no metaphors and double entendres. I'm not gonna let you. I'm not gonna let you get away with that one. I'm gonna keep bringing it up. I'm gonna keep bringing it up. Ages and why you went school with the Yona, Lewis and Io. I deal with that like a Lannister. I cannot think of a man that I owe. And if I talk in payback, that's payback because of Io. I'm back in a place, chiropractor. Jill, rap, grand don't matter. Mind over matter. Bad man from the badlands, eyes go blacker. Read your face like a book, final chapter. He's on fire! Kai said I'm a 
in a different realm. Antenna for talking beats, then this right here is a different bell. Still, I'm so down to earth, I should have dirt in my fingernails. My man saying his name with them, but that name there don't ring a bell. We didn't know that he was from here like Idris when he played string a bell. Whenever they ask me how I'm doing, I just reply if I'm things are well. And he said something like that in his Mad About Bars. He said, when they ask how I am, I say, I can't complain. Something like that. I remember that. Rap, brand don't matter. Mind over matter. Bad man from the badlands. Eyes go blacker. Read your face like a book. Final chapter. He's on fire! Kai said I'm in a different realm. Antenna for talking beats. Then this right here is a different belt. Still, I'm so down to earth. I should have dirt in my fingernails. My man saying his name with them. But that name there don't ring a bell. We didn't know that he was from here like Idris. When he There's just so much going on this beat like i've been listening to the beats and like the progression of the beats in this i'm just so conflicted it's like with the way that uk music in particular has been evolving lately it really does dial back from what i'm used to hearing right now so i'm trying to listen to it within its own context so it's like there's aspects of it that feel underwhelming but there's also aspects of it that is match what he's doing so well you feel me like the way that the bass lines are kicking in, the way that there's very subtle aspects of the beat that are matching his flows or vice versa. Like, I don't know how to describe it. Like, it's a dope beat, but I guess again, I, I guess I'm just so used to like these drill beats these days that are just doing so much at the same time. So it's like, but then, it, but then again, if it had all of those things going on too, I probably wouldn't even be able to focus as much. So I don't know. I'm torn between the way that I feel about the way the beat sounds, but also, the way that the beat is working functionally and executing the message and like the creative direction. So it's, it's a lot. Different bell, still, I'm so down to earth. I should have dirt in my fingernails. My man saying his name with them, but that name there don't ring a bell. We didn't know that he was from here like Idris when he played string a bell. Whenever they ask me how I'm doing, I just reply if I'm things are well. Rum and a coke, I'll give me the Hennessy, mix with a bit of the ginger ale. Whenever I'm drunk, I get on my phone and end up trying to ring Chanel. I just want to hear what he's going to do with that flow because I almost mashed the keyboard again. Uh, I should have dirt on my fingernails. My man saying his name with them, but that name there don't ring a bell. We didn't know that he was from here like Idris when he played string a bell. Whenever they ask me how I'm doing, I just reply if I'm things are well. Rum and a coke, I'll give me the Hennessy, mix with a bit of the ginger ale. Whenever I'm drunk, I get on my phone and end up trying to ring Chanel. She said, pick me up on with things as well. I got pixie dust from Tinkerbell. Like the way, I think 10 Billion Dreams is on this. The way that he just does these these subtle things, or if it's a group, the way that they do it, I'm not 100% sure about their background, but the way that 10 Billion Dreams has been producing these beats for Gets Lately, they have these very subtle things that just smack you in the chest out of nowhere. So he ended up mentioning his name, so I wasn't right about that. But hell on earth. Wait, so what is what? The ginger ale. Whenever I'm drunk, I get on my phone and then the album in the single ginger bar. She said, pick me up on with things as well. I got pixie dust from Tinkerbell. Album man, I do not do single well. I said, album man, I do not do single well. I don't do well by myself. At least that's what I think he's saying. Heaven on earth, translation, flipping hell. Heaven on earth, flipping hell. Yo, conflict of interest out right now. You already know. Fire in the booth, the litest ever. Fire in the desert, fire in the dunes. Yeah, that must have been hot. You know, bro, back home we go. Works is running, see nothing. So in this channel, we hold the vowels. That means we're going to get straight into it. And I have to give this one a 10. I have to. Every single thing that Getz has released since his Mad About Bars has been nothing short of a masterpiece. It's It it just doesn't make any sense. Did you hear his flows, the way he switched it up? The, and on top of that, the way that he switches his cadence with the flows, like I keep saying, it's just so many intricacies, so many subtleties. I'm not that like musically 
what's what I'm looking for? I'm not like super duper educated on music. I'm not a, a lyricist myself. I don't make music. So there's only gonna be but so much that I could say. But from what I have gathered, this one on a technical level, madness. Just the way that every other bar or whatever, every other verse, whatever it is, right? This, he just kept switching it and so subtly. Sometimes you even get a chance to process what it was he just did, he switches it again. And then the beat selection as well. I felt so many different things about the beats here, but I really couldn't take away any points, man. It was just the perfect kind of beat for this. The way that Guess has been delivering it, the icing on the cake would have been like some kind of really over the top orchestra, something like what they did in Skangman. Something like that would have been the icing, but 10 Billion Dreams, shout outs to you. And another one, another masterpiece. Those subtle moments like incorporating like the sound effects to match what he's saying, bringing in those, I think it's counter melodies, like whatever melody plays after the regular melody, if that's the counter melody, like bringing those little moments in. Lyricism, it's Guess. It's, it, he's just a whole new man this past year. He's just a whole new man. Replay value. It took my heart and soul to not hit that zero on the keyboard and run that back from the beginning. Because this recording right now, I don't know how long the final cut's going to be, but this recording is already at 34 minutes. So whatever ends up being in the end, it makes sense why Lee's was over 20. But yeah, replay value, it's, it's just so... I guess the only thing that could make me take away a point for the replay value would be if the beat was a little bit more exciting for my personal taste. But again, I'll just be nitpicking. Like, there's nothing wrong with this at all. Listen, let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below, man. If you haven't checked out any of my other reactions to Getz's music over this past year, I'm gonna have them come up somewhere here on the screen. And let me know again what y'all think in the comment section down below. And as always, hang tight for some more reactions. I do got more of those coming for y'all. But until next time, peace.